Chris from Quirky Neighbor here, and today what I'm going to talk about are mugs. So mugs are a very popular item within print on demand, particularly your standard ceramic mugs, but there are other styles available. I have a few here to show you, and we'll talk so we'll talk about them and also we will talk about a few stainless steel options. I know there's glass options out there, but I haven't tried any of them myself, so I haven't I don't have any to show you yet. So let's start out with the classic. An 11 ounce coffee tea mug, straight sides, glossy white, in and out. As sort of a companion, or you know, this is usually marketed along with it, this is a glossy white ceramic, 15 ounce. Now, unlike the 11 ounce, these, this size generally has a little foot here at the end, bottom where it's angled in. So a little, little bit different profile. So the another similar style but different coloration is this is something I've often seen called an accent mug. The the body of these I've noticed tends to be a bit more of a an ivory or an off white, not the bright white of the other style I just showed you, but they have contrast handle and interior. Now, which colors you can get depends on your vendor. I've seen black, yellow, pink, couple different shades of blue, couple different shades of green. You'll have to look around to see what you can find. And generally all I've found is the 11 ounce size, not 15. Okay, let's go on to this. Glossy black. It's the same profile as the glossy white, just they glazed it with black instead of white. This particular one is a 15 ounce, same profile with the little foot, but they all, it also comes in 11 ounce with, with the straight sides. Okay, now, and my last one for the ceramic to show you is this. This is commonly called a latte style, and a big distinguish, distinguishing feature here, of course, is the tapered shape, and also the handle, you'll notice, is more of an ear shape, where the others are more of a C or a D. It's, you know, this, I, I find this a very attractive style, and I believe this is 12 ounce, if I'm correct. Okay, so let's move on to some of our stainless steel options. There are definitely more available than what I have here, but I've only received a few, I've only purchased a few samples so far. Okay, this little guy, I believe it's about 10 ounces, usually called a camp mug. That's the most common name I've seen for it. It is a single layer of stainless steel that has been finished with a glossy ena white enamel. And the handle is this, it's a little small. I will say the handle's a little small in this. It has this like interior rolled edge. I, I do have a blog post, by the way, um, about all of this these mugs with a lot more details about exact sizes. And you can get some good, I have a close up picture of what the handle looks like on this particular, this particular model. Okay, next. So this is, I think, often called just like a tumbler. It's in, it is insulated. The lid pops in and out, has a little O-ring here. So in that respect, it seals well, and it is dishwasher safe, which is great. But for some reason, on this particular style, there's no seal over where you drink from. So it's, you know, might be slightly spill resistant, but it's not anywhere close to spill proof. Okay. And this one. So this, is again another insulated stainless steel and but this is has a tapered uh, shape as you can see I honestly can't remember the con the off the top of my neck head cannot remember the volume that it holds but I do have that information in my blog post this particular style the lid screws on and off I have actually found this one to work really well actually in terms of being spill resistant uh, you know it's a nice pop lid here stays in place well and it actually does a good job keeping your coffee coffee warm and fits well in the in the coffee in the cup holder of your car that's what I have found um, and it, this is also dishwasher safe although so I've had this one for about three years and I've just noticed a few chips in the finish so you know just be forewarned it it is technically dishwasher safe but um, I think the finish would probably have lasted a lot longer without any chips if I had hand washed it over the years. So. Okay, 
So that's that's the designs, the styles that I have here to show you in terms of what's available. There are other stuff, there's other stuff available and I will be testing other, other styles. A few quick things about designing for these. So the, every, every POD vendor is gonna give you specs on what you need to submit for your files. How big, what file type. I find what I usually do is I just, I lay, I do it in Photoshop, I use Photoshop and I find it gives me a lot of flexibility having that rectangle in front of me uh, doing what I want with the layout. My most common approach, and you see this a lot, is repeating the same design on both sides. It's, you know, people don't have to worry about, you, are you, they drinking right or left handy? You can see the design both sides. Great. Every once in a while though, I will do something I call, let's see, I will do something called, I call a scatter, where I ra kind of randomly place design elements within the space available. It's not symmetrical. And I find that's a nice change up. Uh, it works particularly well, I think, with a design that's just imagery, where not necessarily words. Uh, the words, it can, like, especially if you try to wrap the words all around, it can be hard to read. But you, know, you can also be sort of make a statement with that style. So now, uh, let's see. Oh, the accent mugs. Design for the accent mugs. So you have this additional color element to uh, take into account. You might or might not care, and obviously like this one is black, so that's gonna go with everything. But some of the vendors actually provide you with the color codes for the colors. So like if you're doing one, there's one that's kind of a turquoisey blue, and if you wanna match your text or your design to that, you can because they give you the code, which is great. I mean, I think that's really handy. And I will say, in terms of color reproduction, the ceramic mugs, and actually also the, the uh, the stainless steel mugs, they all reproduce the color really nicely. You can get some great results. Actually, here, let me show you. So this is one from my, actually from my sister's shop. She wrote a little children's book called The Candy Tree of Mutants, and this is some artwork from it. So, so the color reproduction can be great on whether it's uh, the black or the white surface, and also, as I said, the stainless steel. But, so these taper designs have an interesting problem. So your file is a rectangle. That's just the way it goes. But this is the shape needed to go on. This is not a rectangle. I have found what winds up happening is the top gets stretched. So you need to account for that in your design. You either just put up with it or you do things with your design to try and accommodate it. So on this, like when I've been designing for these, also, the taper's not as great on this as on that latte mug. I, I kind of try and pick where, you know, a design where it doesn't, it sort of goes along with it, or I weight the design toward the bottom. Yeah, it, you have to experiment, depends on your design. Now, another thing to consider with, while I'm looking at the, these, and it's the same with that straight-sided tumbler, is there's a seam. You know, you could, uh, it's just the way it goes. You're gonna see the seam on the this particular style of mug. And one last thing to point out is um, seeing the edges. So you notice on this one, you see the edges of the design. And that is because I filled the background with a color. This one here, I left the background transparent because you, you submit the files as a PNG. So I left the background transparent, so the white, the mug base comes through. Here, because I filled the background with color, you wind up seeing the edge of the, of the design. And once again, that's an aesthetic choice. You see that in commercial ones, like go into a shop, um, you know, retail shop, and you're gonna find that as well. You know, if you look at, see designs like that. So, but just something to consider when you're designing. Um, but it's, I, I find it kind of fun to play around with. I think there's a lot of a lot of what you can do within that small little area you have to play around with, but I had a lot of fun. But yeah, in the meantime, check out my post link below that where I have layout in painful detail, capacities and sizes of these mugs. And until then, see you in the next video. Thanks.